well, I'm Ranger Kuki, and I'm out here at my house watching a very, very spooky night. This is right now. I'm going to put this up in a few seconds. I want to show you this lightning. And what it's doing is making my, 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 uh, solar lights come on. I don't have another video for my cell phone, but... It's sideways, but you can finish watching if you like. So I'm going to have this video where it's the right way. I'm showing you the horrible night I'm having. Basically, it was really windy a few minutes ago. Really windy and rainy. You'll see that in the second part of the video. But I had to show you, re-show you, because you can see. With a GoPro, which is better than the camera I just had. What happens is the lightnings lighten up my solar panels out here and cut them off and on. But I want to show you what's inside my house. What happens if the lights go out? And you cannot see no more. The whole house is dark. The whole house is pitch black. You can't see one thing out here. So, I made, I have one out and got these little lights and put it above each of my door. Let me show you what it is before we begin. In my house, I have one of these lights that you push that goes into your pantry. And it lights up the, the pantry pretty well. I'm going to show you the back side. Nine emergency effective LEDs. LEDs never replaced. Battery operated. We use three alkaline AAA batteries, not included. Easy brightness, dark spaces to install. Use a strong adhesive on the backing or screw extra for durability. I just use tacks to hold my my lights. Oh, shh, the lights went out. So, what you want to do when the lights go out, you want to go above your doors that you have these lights and turn on those lights I just got another light in your kitchen or your living room you want at least two lights for those two areas now over here in my kitchen I have two of them so I can see my my kitchen Above it, inside it, outside the door, I have one of these lights. You see how bright it got in my house. Pretty bright if the lights went out. And I never keep one above each door in your house. So you can go anywhere in the house and just turn on these lights. See one in the bathroom and they have above every door. You know where a door is. I just want to show you these cool, neat, neat lights you might want to use during your stormy weather. See how bright they got in this room? Like I said, it looks like normal lights. This is normal light. And this is off. And like I said, I have one above each door. I have to replace one of them. See, this is a pain. See, this is the one I'm replacing, and I'm putting another one somewhere else it needs to be. See, that's a pretty bright light. The LEDs are brighter than these uh, classics, but I bought these these classics real cheap. And then, see, I need one more above this door. So you know where a door is. You will find that door and just turn it on. Just want to show you my house. The lights just got off, turned off. And voila. My whole house is lit it up. Maybe I might replace that one, but it's bright enough to see. Don't mind the junk. And when the power stores get stored back up, you just go around and turn them off once again these things are cool to get during a bad days they're good for hurricanes tornadoes 
a uh, tree falls on, on a light pole. So far I had to use these lights twice in my house. And remember in the kitchen you might want to put two in your kitchen. And make sure you always put them above a, the door so you, you can turn them on if you need it. And I just want to turn them off to show you how dark it gets in my house. And how bright these things are if you put enough of them. There's five down this hallway, two, three in the living room. Now you can have one outside too, so you can see if you have to walk outside. And they're easy to do. This see this one went off. I think the batteries are dead. So we'll change the batteries or not. I use rechargeable lights or the cheap dollar dollar tree uh, batteries. Because they last a long time. And to show you how dark it gets after you turn off these lights. If the lights happen to go off. <clears throat> now here's my bedroom. It's lit it pretty good. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. And the last one right here all right i'm ranger kooky i hope you find this video very interesting what do i use if the lights go off in my house and i just want to show you i just got these today because i needed two to to put two more in my house somewhere i have to replace one so there you go folks in case your lights ever go out in your house you have a backup light system that can light up your whole house I've been buying these lights over time. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. See you next. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I want to do something special. See you next. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I'm in a thunderstorm right now outside my house. I want to show y'all some stuff. Those are my solar lights I was talking about a little while ago. And I want to show you something about it. If the lights ever go out, I want to show you this, these the items that I have in my house. And if the lights go out, I have these things. And I can light up my whole house with these items. Uh-oh. See, here's my house. It's, it's, if the lights went out, I could turn on these lights and I can see pretty good. I have one above every door of my house. And I'm supposed to put one in here, but it's kind of cr uh, crowded. But every door, I have a light. One right here. Then I have one right here in the hallway and another one on this door. Now look at that. My whole house is lit up. There's one above this door. And I got one above this door. Now, the lights with this one out. Let's pretend the lights with this one out. And I have these lights above every door in my house. Okay, let's go. There's my hallway. Uh, here's my bedroom. The dungeon. It's a little dark, but in the human light, I can see better. And here's another light. Now I lit up my room a little bit better. And we got this one. And we got one about this door. And this is a private room, so I'm not going in there. But you, it lights up the whole house. These lights, uh, you can get these anywhere in Walmart, Kmart, or any type of store, and it lights up the whole house. So what you want to do is put one above every door of your house. So if the lights do go out, you can light up your whole, your whole house and bedroom 
with these lights. I want to share what they are because I had to put two up. I bought two of them. And the reason why I'm not using my GoPro, the battery is there. Now if the lights do go out, I can see through my house and I know where these lights are at. Always put one above your door. This is where one I need to put right here. I think I don't have one in here. I don't. So I have to put, just in case I have to go in this closet at night. Boy, it's raining and thundering out there. Look, listen to it. And that could have killed my lights any time a tree could fall on the power line and kill the lights and I'd be dead in the water. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the real light and show you what these things are. Now, you can buy different types of grades. This one's a uh, bright non-LED push light. This is what you want in your house during winter, uh, during storms. And we'll show you again these lights while I'm turning it off. See, there's one here. In your kitchen, you want at least one more to brighten up your kitchen. Oh, look at all my junk. Oh, <laughs> junk. I love my junk. So I put one here extra in my kitchen so you can see in your kitchen. One in here to see what's in your, uh, up your uh, closet, which is junk. And one above the door. So have a couple of these lights in your house. You see how bright it got with this camera. And that's how I do. These have rechargeable batteries. I put in. So what you want to do is just go around above your doors and you will have a light. See down here in this hallway. There's one above this door. One above this door. Which batteries? Looks like it's dying. Always check your batteries during a uh, stormy season. And every door has one of these lights. So this will light up your house. I got different kinds because each kind was cheap to buy in certain places. See how well lit this area is? Because I have one inside my closet, one on the outside of my closet. This is my bathroom, the master bathroom. We'll turn on a light, but you know, see a mirror or something. And one above that door. And I might change this one out because it's a little bitty one. And it's a piece of crap, I believe. And see, normal light in the lights of these little. It lights up this whole room with these little lights. Perfect timing because I wanted to do this video for a while. Voila. It's raining cats and dogs outside. And I just want to show you these little LED lights you can get or different types, types of lights you could buy that you push the button and it comes on. This is good for pantries, kitchens. This is perfect timing for the weather. So I have one there, right there. And the best place to put them is above the door. And in my living room, I at least have two. Not above the door, but at least somewhere on your flat wall part. And look how horrible it is outside. If a tree falls down, you can always find those lights in your house because they're above your door. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope this message during horrible days of of a, a hurricane, tornado, and, and the lights will go out, please get you some of these. If you believe that your lights will go out or you your lights do go out time to time, these help out to see around your house when you need to see around your house. Let's take a look at the back. 
Mm, this thing's not picking up good, or I guess got bad eyesight. Not uh, inter, uh, emergency afflict LED lights. LEDs always never need replacement. Battery operated uses three alkaline AA batteries, not included. Easy brightness for dark places. To stall, use strong seat for backing or screws for extra durability. I just use tacks. And these little suckers do help. I mean, I have to use these these lights above my house. I mean, in my house, maybe one time since I have put them in. All right, I'm Richard Kipke, and this is a good time to make this video because the lights can go. Oh shit! Out. Oh Lord, I can't see. Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me. Just listen to that. Alright, I'll see you next time. Whoa, look at the stars! There were stars! Oh, right. I'm standing on my front porch, and every time the lightning strikes, it kills my, uh, it lights up my, uh, my little street lights I have, I these little artificial, damn it. The lightning is lighting up my solar lights out here, and they're going off. I have like 20 solar lights and every time the lightning strikes it turns about well, almost all of them on for a few seconds and it cuts them off and since the batteries are dead they're cutting off and it's kind of funny to watch them cut on and cut off weather. It's raining and windy and lightning at the same time. Oh, getting wet. Damn you, boy. It's killing the street lights also. It's so bright. It's like daylight out here. And it's just, it's amazing how, to watch all these lights come on and off.
that was kind of cool. The lightning's hitting the see the lights over here. Then I have the waterfall in front of my house. And when they lit up the uh, the, the brightest, there you go. Way over there, they're turning on, and the light is really bright. It is freaking awesome out here. I feel sorry for the ranger, he's way out there in the woods. You're falling large, I'm too. 